in this lecture we are going to discuss some problems on limits involving infinity consider the function f of x equal to 1 by x if you are trying to plot the graph of this function we will get the graph like this as when x is equal to 1 we have uh, y is our y is equal to f of x equal to 1 by x so th let this be x axis and this be y axis so when x is equal to 1 we have uh, y is also 1 so this point will be here when x is equal to 2 we have uh, y equal to or f of x is equal to 1 by 2 so it will be here then x is equal to uh, 3 it is 1 by 3 and here etc and when x is equal to 1 by 2 we have uh, 1 by 1 by 2 that is 2 etc so it will be uh, 2 it will be here etc so the graph will be like this okay and if uh, x is negative then graph will be uh, in this manner that is when x is equal to minus 1 uh, we have this is minus uh, 1 by minus 1 it is minus 1 so uh, this point will be here uh, this is actually uh, we can write or we can draw like this okay so this is 1 uh, minus 1 implies minus 1 so for this point will be here etc so this will be the graph of uh, our function f of x is equal to uh, 1 by x okay now uh, from this we can see that as x approaches to infinity as x approaches to infinity we have uh, when, when uh, we, we know when x is equal to 1 then uh, the value y is, is also 1 x is equal to 1 by 2 uh, so x is equal to 2 implies y equal to 1 by 2 this is this decreasing right and x is equal to 3 implies uh, y equal to or 1 by x is equal to 1 by 3 and decreasing again etc so as x tends to infinity we will have uh, so uh, we will have 1 by x approaches to 0 that is when x is large uh, when x is getting large then we will get 1 by x is getting uh, small when x approaches to infinity we have 1 by x approaches to 0 okay the, the uh, limit uh, that means the value of y will decreases to so we can write the limit of limit extends to infinity 1 by x is equal to 0 clear in a extends to minus infinity as x approaches to minus infinity that is uh, when x equal to minus 1 is this uh, we have uh, y equal to uh, minus 1 and uh, when x is equal to minus 2 equal to uh, 1 by minus 2 that is also we are approaching to 0 that is when the, this graph says that uh, as x you can see that uh, 1 by x approaches to 0 okay so limit we can we can have uh, limit extends to minus infinity 1 by so 0 okay about the limit of 1 by x as So, and zero x equals zero is this point. So, uh, x can approaches to zero uh, either from left and from right. So, uh, if we if the x approaches to zero, what will be the effect of uh, or what will be this as x approaches to zero from left? way we will have uh, f of right infinity uh, this is minus that limit x approaches to 0 minus that is when x approaches to 0 uh, from left we have 1 by x is equal to okay. that is the left limit of 1 by x as x, x approaches to 0 is minus infinity that is limit negative infinity also limit x tends to 0 plus that means when x approaches to 0 uh, uh, from right that is when x approaches to 0 from right is like this okay from x approaches to 0 from right we have our uh, function uh, or the 1 by x approaches to infinity right plus infinity 
So limit extends to 0 plus 1 by x is equal to plus infinity. Okay. So here also, the, so we can say that it is uh, the uh, limit does not exist at the, that is left limit and right limits are not equal uh, at the point x equal 0. Okay. Of this 1 by x. Also, uh, the, uh, the left, the, if you are looking uh, the separate left limits and uh, right limits, we have uh, the left limits uh, will be minus infinity and right limits will be plus infinity. Okay. So we can say that the limit does not exist. This that means limit x tends to 0, 1 by x does not exist. Okay. Now uh, we can use these facts to uh, 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 to do some other problems. Okay. Now we can consider that is uh, as x tends to infinity over x tends to minus infinity, 1 by x approaches to 0. Okay. That is limit of 1 by x as x approaches to infinity or x approaches to minus infinity, it will be 0. Okay. Now uh, we can do another problem. Okay. Evaluate limit x tends to uh, infinity 2x plus 1 divided by 3x plus 1. Limit x tends to infinity 2x plus 1 divided by 3x plus 1. So here uh, we we can use limit x tends to infinity 1 by x is equal to 0. We can use this limit. Okay. So here this implies we can write limit x tends to infinity 2x plus 1 divided by 3x plus 1 can be written as limit x tends to infinity taking x uh, taking x outside from the numerator and denominator we will have x into 2 plus 1 by x divided by x into 3 plus 1 by x clear so we, we just taken x outside from the numerator and denominator so so dividing this x we get a limit x tends to infinity 2 plus 1 by x divided by 3 plus 1 by x okay now this is equal to we know limit x tends to infinity uh, 2 is 2 so 2 plus limit x tends to infinity 1 by x is 0 we already obtained that so this divided by 3 plus 0 because limit extends to infinity 1 by x is 0. So here the limit is 2 by 3. Okay. Next question evaluate limit extends to minus infinity 5x square minus 3x plus 2 divided by x square plus 1. Here uh, we have uh, the numerator and denominator uh, are uh, uh, a second degree polynomials. So here we can take x square outside. Okay. So here uh, the uh, the method is uh, we we are uh, taking the uh, largest power uh, uh, in the denominator or numerator outside. Okay. So here we can write this limit extends to minus infinity. This is equal to uh, we can taking x square outside. We have this is equal to uh, five minus three into one by x plus two into one by x square. Okay. Divided by Taking x square outside in the denominator, we have 1 plus 1 by x square. Okay, so this is uh, the uh, this is equal to limit x tends to minus infinity. Dividing x square, we get 5 minus 3 into 1 by x plus 2 into 1 by x square divided by uh, 1 plus 1 by x square. Okay. Now this is equal to, we already uh, proved that limit x tends to minus infinity 1 by x is equal to 0. Also we have limit x tends to uh, minus infinity 1 by x square is nothing but uh, limit x tends to minus infinity 1 by x into 1 by x. So uh, we can uh, multiply, the, the, we can write this as limit x tends to infinity. Uh, limit x tends to minus infinity 1 by x into limit x tends to minus infinity 1 by x. So this is also 0 into 0 equal to 0. Okay. So we have 5 minus 3 into limit x tends to minus infinity 1 by x is 0 plus 2 into limit x tends to minus infinity 1 by x square is also 0 divided by 1 plus limit x tends to uh, minus infinity 1 by x square is 0. Okay. So uh, the record limit is 5 divided by 1 that is 5 itself. Next question uh, find the limit x tends to infinity f of x and limit x tends to minus infinity f of x for the function f in this figure. Okay. 
So here we are given the function f, uh, the graph of the function f is like this. So uh, as extends to infinity, our uh, first one is uh, limit extends to infinity f of x. We need to find this limit, limit extends to infinity f of x. So as x approaches to infinity, we can see that our graph of this function approaches to uh, 2. This is the line 2, this is the line 2, so it approaches to line 2, that is uh, limit extends to infinity f of x is 2. Okay, and limit extends to minus infinity f of x, limit approaches to minus infinity f of x is nothing but as x approaches to minus infinity, we have the graph approaches to uh, this line, that's this line is uh, y equal to 0, that is f of x approaches to 0, this is the limit. Next one is find limit extends to 2 minus 3x divided by x square minus 4x plus 4. So here actually the uh, the x naught is 2 here but when we uh, apply this limit when we uh, replace x by 2 in the numerator we will get minus 6 right. When uh, x is equal to 2 the numerator is minus 6 and the denominator is uh, 2 square minus 2 into 4 plus 4 that is uh, 0 that means uh, when x is equal to 2 uh, the denominator vanishes so we cannot use the quotient rule here so here uh, we can write this limit as equal to this limit is equal to uh, uh, limit x tends to 2 minus 3x divided by this is actually uh, x minus 2 whole square x minus 2 whole square is equal to uh, x square minus 4x plus 4 okay so uh, we can factorize this denominator by x minus 2 into x minus 2 that is x minus 2 whole square right so uh, uh, this is now uh, we know as x approaches to 2 the numerator approaches to minus 6 and as x approaches to 2 the denominator will be 0 uh, when uh, x approaches to negative uh, 2 from left or from right Okay, if x approaches to 2 from left or if x approaches to 2 from right, then then uh, this uh, then also this uh, denominator will be uh, 0. Since the denominator is actually x minus 2 whole square, uh, when x, uh, x approaches to 2 uh, from left or from right, then this quantity will be uh, very small and it is positive, right. So this limit will be limit of this function minus 3x divided by x minus 2 whole square will be uh, uh, minus 6 by infinity that is uh, is minus infinity because uh, as x approaches to 2 this quantity will be uh, approaching to uh, uh, 0 and it will be uh, in uh, it will be positive positive and approaching to 0 it is always positive and approaching to 0 because it is x minus 2 whole square. Okay, and the denominator will be minus 3 into 2 that is minus 6. So, in the denominator it is negative and in the denominator it is positive. So, when x approaches to 2, this is something divided by 0 that is infinity. So, uh, the uh, the sign of this uh, sign will be negative because this is negative divided by positive. So, uh, this limit is uh, minus infinity. Okay, now another question is uh, find limit extends to 0 3x plus 2 divided by x 3x plus 2 divided by x so here uh, we can uh, write this limit as limit uh, extends to 0 uh, 3x plus 2 divided by x can be written as uh, limit extends to 0 3x by x is 3 plus 2 by x Okay, 3x by x is 3 plus 2 by x. So we have this limit is limit x tends to 0, 3 is nothing but 3 plus limit x tends to 0 uh, or 2 into limit x tends to 0, 1 by x. So we know limit x tends to 0, 1 by x is does not exist because we already uh, discussed that this, this will be uh, the graph of 1 by x and when x approaches to 0 from left, it will be minus infinity. When approaches to, when x approaches to 0 will be plus infinity so this limit does not exist okay so uh, we, we can say that the, therefore uh, this since this limit does not exist 
therefore uh, the given limit does not exist reason is this limit does not exist limit x tends to 0 1 by x is not exist okay now uh, you try to do these problems yourself 